Okay, guys. So, I get one center cut uh, pork loin, yeah, from um, Costco. So what it is is, wait, let me get this out of the way. What it is is, if you guys buy you guys pork loin from Costco or Sam's Club, you need the thing stay uh, brined already, yeah. So, but <clears throat> if you know, if if you buy them from one vendor or one pork guy or whatever, or from farm or whatever, you can brine them yourself. You take one pork loin, two three pounds, even even one small one like this, and. What you do is you get one gallon water, uh, three quarter cup of salt, uh, kosher salt, okay, not 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 table salt, and uh, one cup sugar and some peppercorns, and you just mix them real good. Dissolve all the salt and sugar in the gallon of water, and just put your pork inside for about one hour, one and a half hours, up to two hours. You're all right, nothing more than two hours though. You'll need, unless you're doing on super big loin, but. After that, the thing will come too salty. But when you buy from Costco like that, the thing is already brine already, yeah? So anyway, we're making tonkatsu today, right? So um, what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> I already went cut some pieces already. So I'm just showing you guys kind of what, what, how to bread them and whatnot. And the okay, kind, so don't be afraid to cut them thick. We're not going to pound them down or anything like that. Or okay, we're just going... We get them about three quarter inch thick right now. Half inch, three quarter inch, whichever way you let go. And then salt and pepper, both sides. Yeah? <clears throat> you just gotta pepper one side, that's all. Okay, just pepper one side, and then granulated garlic, just granulated garlic, a little bit one side. You gotta season the, the, the pork, yeah? Some people, they season the panko like that, but we just season the pork. Then I'm using cornstarch again, okay? So, you dredge them in the cornstarch, and make sure when you dredge them in the cornstarch, you, you just you kind of dust them all off because you don't like one thick layer of cornstarch on top or flour whichever one you use I prefer cornstarch a little more crispy but whichever one you use because what happened is <clears throat> if you put too much cornstarch you know dust them off you, you ever you ever ate or some place where they get fried foods like fried fish and chips or whatever and then you look the fish they shrink on the inside and you see when the crust is like when, when cake shell, when pie shell around them, you know what I mean? That's, you know, like that. So, that's from having too much of the base. Because this is basically just to make your eggs stuck, right? Okay? Then you put them inside the egg bat, in the, in the egg wash. You guys can see or not, but. Okay? Put them in the egg wash. And then after you get them in the egg wash, just let them kind of drain on the egg wash too. And then. <clears throat> get them inside the panko. When you get them in the panko, make sure you guys push down the panko. Put some on the top so you can push them down like that. Push them into the panko. Yeah, you let the panko really get into the, you know, get stuck to the, the pork, right? Okay. In the meantime, I get, the, I get my cast iron pan going with uh, uh, peanut oil. You can use peanut oil. Um, vegetable oil, soybean oil. Stay away from olive oil, too much taste. Stay away from canola because canola oil no really brown the food, you know what I mean? So, try stick with like the, the hardier oil, peanut, vegetable, whatnot. Peanut oil is a good choice. Okay, and then, uh, so just get them good and punkled up. And then what you're gonna do now is if you get on baking sheet, you know, the one with the little holes, right? Would be good, but I know more right now, so I just go leave them on my board for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. You like everything set in and stuck. If you just were to throw them in a deep fryer now, or just throw them in your pan now, what's going to happen is the, the crust can pull away from the meat, and then, like again, you're going to have one pie shell around, around your meat, you know what I mean? So just kind of let them sit there for a little while, let them rest, and uh, 
Let me go get the rest of this pork the kind. I already get some already say resting already. Ready for the deep fryer. But uh so it's basically cornstarch, salt salt pepper, granulated garlic, cornstarch, both sides, dust them off, egg wash. And the egg wash I just get two eggs with one tablespoon water, yeah? And then after that the panko, okay? So I'm gonna make the rest of these and then I show you when it's time for deep fry, okay? So I'll be right back. Let me go clean this up and then let me get back to you guys. Get back to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, so now I get the three pieces katsu laid out on the board, yeah? Just letting them rest. If you get one, um, um, one baker's rack or one uh, roasting rack would be better to keep them so the bottom don't get to the kind, but I ain't draft the ball everything like that. So what I'm going to do now is I get in the oil. Uh, you can use on cast iron pan. I get in the oil to about 325. You like them right around 325. You don't like them too much hot and you got to give the time the pork to cook the bottom, uh, the inside, before the punk will burn. You know what I mean? So let me get let me get everything set up with the other kind, then I'm gonna show you how we throw them inside and how we cook that off. In the meantime, too, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna make we no more, you know, we was gonna make macaroni salad for tonight, but me, bright one, or into the store. Of course, I buy the mayo everything. I don't buy the macaroni, but I get spaghetti noodle. So you remember Shiro's down our air side? I know still stay over there, but you guys who know live in Hawaii get this place that. This uh, drive-in, then they make macaroni salad with with uh, with uh, spaghetti noodles. So I'm gonna make some like that too. Same same way I make macaroni salad, boil egg and whatnot. Same thing, but you're just using spaghetti noodle and tastes just as good, just as good as macaroni. Okay, so give me a few seconds and let me go get this uh, meat in oil. I mean, already rest them for about 10-15 minutes already. So let me go get this into the oil. Okay. Okay guys, so here let me go. I'm just gonna lay them inside there. Just 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 watch them eh? and lay them away from you, yeah? So the thing the kind. And then if you see the your fire a little too high, just turn them down a little bit. But you like give time for the pork, but you get pretty thick pork, right? So you like give time for the pork to cook too, okay? I get peanut oil inside here. Try for use peanut, um, Canola, no really brown, you know, you know, vegetable oil, good, uh, soybean oil, good. Try not to use olive oil unless you like olive oil, unless you like the taste of olive oil. But the olive oil, the, the thing that can handle the heat real, real good too, yeah? Especially if you're using extra virgin, so try not, try stay away from that and we'll give one flavor that. It's good flavor, I mean, you like olive oil, but for tonkatsu, not too much, okay? So, right there, I get them going inside there. So let me go start cook. When I when I turn them, I go show you guys. You can cook them for about three minutes or four minutes on each side, but keep looking like, like nice golden brown, yeah. But no burn them, okay? No walk away. Just watch them a little bit, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So let me just see. Okay. So anyway, I say turning them now, yeah. We probably could have gone a little bit more on that side, but they're all right. Okay. If your fire look too low, you can bring a little bit more up too, you know what I mean? Okay. So let me go cook this thing through and then, you know, get them nice golden brown. If you need one thermometer, check the internal temperatures to stay up by about 165 about 165 you know pork nowadays it's not like before get that uh trigonosis or whatever you call that right nowadays pork is a little more clean so you can go medium well i mean guys order pork like that from our place medium like that you know what i mean still pink in the middle so it's up to you guys but 165 you stayed medium well already and you by the time the thing carry over you let them rest that's gonna be well done so if you guys get trouble judging what the temperature like that, put stick your thermometer inside, 165, you're good to go. Okay? So I'll be right back to you guys. Okay guys, so here your tonkatsu, okay? So, now what we're going to do is we're going to let them rest a little bit. Now, 
It would be better if you had them all on Baker's rack or on, on uh, roasting rack or something, but I know more one right now. I sit home, so I put them on some pepper towels. And then after a couple minutes, I'm going to flip them over so that they don't just get soggy on one side. You know what I mean? Now, you're going to like let them rest for about four or five minutes. You don't like just cut them open because all the juice just going to spill out and then you're going to end up with dry pork, right? So, this is roughly around two servings. I mean, that's not, for me, that's one serving, right? But, um, you know, you get about six ounce pieces, right? Six ounce pieces. You can make four ounce pieces or whatever you like. And just serve two or you know what which whatever you can make them thicker too at the restaurant we make them real thick about two almost two inch you know what I mean? because we throw them in a deep fry we cannot we can really control the temperature with that too yeah so but let them rest in a while then while this thing stay resting let me go put this on the side a little bit and what I will do is I will show you guys a macaroni salad getting noodle eh? or stuck to the other kind but anyway what you when when you make this kind macaroni salad, what you just like do is you just like really dry them off. That's all. Make sure everything dry. You don't like you don't like wet noodles. Make wet the kind. You like everything dry. So I made this earlier early in the morning. So then at least I get the kind of the thing cold now. Everything cold and and dry and and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do is of course I get best food mayonnaise but but for me yeah nowadays our family we see using this olive oil best food mayonnaise for best food tastes pretty much the same you know what I mean so um let me go get the egg cracked inside there let me go peel the eggs hang on I'll be right back hang on okay so what I'm gonna do now is I just go and smash that I gonna get two eggs there this is about this was about half pound spaghetti noodles, maybe three quarter pound spaghetti noodle. I just get a couple eggs. I just go and you can grate them, but I just put the fork through them, you know what I mean? And then you guys can just go to my macaroni salad video and watch that video. I'm going to show you exactly how to make them, but I just show you guys on Fasten how we set up this whole plate system and whatnot. Now I'm going to put a little bit of salt. A little bit, okay? The mayonnaise salty, right? Just one sprinkling of granulated garlic, not too much, and then of course the mayonnaise. Yeah. Let me get the mayonnaise in there. See, this best foods, yeah. But then you see, oh man, the thing says olive oil best foods, but the thing, oh no, I mean, taste no. You cannot tell the difference. Some people say they can, but I don't can tell the difference, but. For us guys, a little bit more healthy for us guys. <laughs> it's just like ordering fucking three Big Macs and one Diet Coke, you know what I mean? So, okay. Okay, so I don't know where this thing will leave off, but... Just like the regular macaroni salad. Sorry, the camera will die. Oh. Um, you just mix them up just like that, yeah? And then add some black pepper. Okay, guys. So, um, I, what happened was my camera went run out of um, storage, so I had to go pull another SD card inside. But anyway, okay. So now I get the mac salad done. I don't know how much you've seen of that, but you know the basic. Just go down to my macaroni salad video, and I show you. And then the kind okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the plate for the tonkatsu now. So, so when you can cut your katsu, that's all you gonna do is you just gonna cut them into. Pieces like that. See? Nice and cooking inside. Nice and juicy. I don't know if you can see it, but say real juicy too. The thing should focus in a little bit, but I don't know why not focusing, but anyway. Okay, so we're gonna just lay them on top the bed of cabbage. I'll show you guys the final point after I had a kind as I set them up. And then for tonkatsu sauce, eh? That's up to you guys. You guys can buy that kind already made. Or ketchup, Worcestershire sauce. We like sriracha in ours. Okay. 
Then let me let me uh let me clean this up a little bit. And I know I'm a professional kind uh, photographer or whatever, so I just try to make the best I can. Cooking part I know, the, the, the camera work I don't know, bro. So anyway, so this is your plate, yeah, with the tonkatsu on top, yeah. Um, I hope that thing is clear, but you know the thing is nice and juicy and and the kind. But so this guy's gonna serve them with the macaroni salad, of course. But of course, it's the spaghetti noodle salad, eh? you know what I mean? And I cut the spaghetti noodle into four four slices, four pieces, so the thing is smaller. Eh? So you can put some macaroni salad like that. And then, trust me, the thing won't, just like macaroni salad, bro. Okay? We're going to throw a little bit of pepper on top, black pepper on top. Okay, and then us guys, we, I, I, I'm showing you this. You guys can use anything you like. You know what I mean. But I say use brown rice, brown, brown and white rice together. Yeah. So here the rice. I should set them up before I show you guys this. But anyway. This just me, eh? you know what I mean? I not know the kind of cooking show or anything like that. So, right there, bro. That's your tonkatsu plate. So, right there. I hope you guys can see them. Yeah? Okay. Tonkatsu, macaroni and salad with the spaghetti noodle and brown and white rice. The tonkatsu sauce us guys use is just we put ketchup. We put ketchup in one container. Us guys get simple tonkatsu sauce. You buy the tonkatsu sauce, I don't know, the thing is kind of strong like so. I'll show you guys what we're doing. Okay, see us guys, eh? Well, I just put ketchup, let's say four tablespoons ketchup, two tablespoons, uh, um, uh, Worcestershire sauce, one, one, one tablespoon sriracha, and one teaspoon sugar. And that's it. You can use honey too. I know a lot of guys use honey, but I don't like to use honey, so, okay. And then just mix them up, bro. This thing, oh no. Let's stop making a mess. Or, like I said, you can just go buy yourself one tonkatsu sauce. At the restaurant, we get a special recipe we use, and I'll let you guys know about that a little later. So, mm. This one tastes real close to tonkatsu sauce already, though. But just like that, then the thing, oh no, bruh. Okay? Mm. Remember, if you guys buy pork from Costco, Sam's Cumberland, like the things they already brine, you don't need to brine them. If you buy from a distributor or you buy that thing from a pork guy or whatever, and the thing knows they brine, three quarter cup of sugar, a three quarter cup of salt, one cup of sugar to a gallon of water, and some peppercorns, and just brine them, soak your whole piece of pork for about hour, hour, half, two hours, and that's it. Don't soak them too much longer than that and start to get salty. And then, press your panko in, and the kind, watch the video. I'm not gonna have one, I'm not gonna have one recipe at the end of the kind because really there's no recipes. Everything what you've seen on top of this video is how it works out, right? So, anyway, you guys take care. Um, you guys stay safe out there, and, uh, I've been getting a lot of messages for make um, the kind of food like when I used to work for Roy and um, Marriott and whatnot. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna make one misoyaki. I don't know if it's gonna be butterfish or salmon. What kind of fish I can get, or maybe I can get lean cod or something. And I'm gonna make some good sauces and dressings for you guys that 
I get one dressing that you guys would really, I mean, you guys would, uh, you guys would love it. Okay, so anyway, that's it. Tonkatsu, rice, macaroni salad, bro. Plate lunch, typical Hawaiian plate lunch. Okay, you guys take care out there. You guys stay safe. And uh, thank you guys, <clears throat> all you guys for you guys comments and, and liking the videos and that. And if you guys watching the video, at least give them one like. That thing kind of help out my channel for, for spread the word. Huh? You know what I mean? But I appreciate all you guys and uh, hope you guys stay blessed and stay safe. And you know, Jesus always loves you guys. But no matter what, he always going to take care of you guys. So a lot of, lot of shady stuff going on in this world nowadays. So just, just rely on him and he's going to take care of everything. Alright, again, stay blessed, take care. We shall see you guys on the next video. Hello.